had an uncle who liked a 70s song called Spiders and Snakes. I don't like spiders and snakes And many what it takes to love me Even though its title was all about critters that crawl and slither, I found the song a little creepy because the singer, Jim Stafford, sings about trying to find something to drop down a girl's dress. I'm not sure what that was all about, but creeper. Other people, however, might not get to the part of the song where Stafford sings about being a creeper because they can't get past the creepy crawlies in the title. And that's because they don't just... They are absolutely, completely, illogically terrified of snakes. If you fall into that category, I'm warning you, I'm going to talk about snakes. Lots of snakes. And lots of rattlesnakes living inside a home in the valley. And even though... I don't mind snakes too much. This story takes me close to my limit. Back in March, when rattlesnakes were coming out of hibernation here in the Valley, we talked with Scottsdale Fire Chief Tom Shannon on Arizona's Morning News about what to do if you find one in your yard. You can certainly call us, the, the fire department. You can call our non-emergency line. If, and what we do is we usually will we'll go ahead and remove that snake for you and relocate it within a reasonable distance from But we were talking to Chief Shannon about finding one snake in your yard. A man called a snake removal company after seeing what he thought were three rattlesnakes lurking in his garage in Mesa. He was wrong. When snake wrangler Marissa Maki with Rattlesnake Solutions got there, she found there were 20 snakes, five adult western diamondback rattlers, and 15 babies. This is actual sound, by the way, from actual video of snake wrangler Marissa finding most of the rattlers coiled around the base of a water heater in the unidentified homeowner's cluttered garage on Tuesday. Oh, by the way, one of the snakes was also pregnant. <laughs> so it was actually more than 20 snakes. Uh, the video, by the way, I was glad to learn, she did not shoot on her phone, leaving her with only one hand to snake wrangle. But isn't that a cool title to have? Snake wrangler? And isn't it cool that it's a woman with that title? A woman who wouldn't have fallen under the spell of creepy singer Jim Stafford, even while wearing a dress. And a lady who doesn't faint at the mention of snakes. Like, hmm, Gatos? Tune in this afternoon and see if he can even do that story on the radio. I'm voting no.